we're gonna open up some pixie dust apothecary candles so excited these actually have scents i don't know where's the allergy medicine Hi everybody, my name is Meg and welcome to Megla is a Geek, where we geek out about everything Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, and a few other things. Um, if you are new here, hi and welcome. I hope you feel as comfortable being as geeky as you like. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for geeking out with me once again. I really appreciate it. As the intro mentioned, I do have some Pixie Dust Apothecary candles. You see, just Apothecary is owned and created by Allie and Pete over at Two Tiny Wings. So I will link all of that stuff up in the... You think by now I know where it is. I don't. And I put it down in the description for you guys. So the last time I did this, all of my candles had no scents because I have really bad allergy issues. And it's just safer that way. These actually have scents. So what I may consider a strong scent may not be what you consider a strong scent because these are actually candles for my friends. There are four of us in our little group. And so each of us are a different Harry Potter house. So it's, it's really weird. <laughs> so um, I bought everybody a candle, including me, so. We'll start off with that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to ramble through this as much as possible. So I got a little Winnie the Pooh card. So dear Meg, thank you for your support of our shop. We hope you and your friends love these bits of magic, Pixie Dust Apothecary, Pete and Ellie. Um, this was way back when they had, they did a pop shop live one and I bought these. and. So they've been sitting in the back of a closet for like the longest time, just in case. But yes, you can explore their catalog and discover the story behind their scents at etsy.com slash shop slash pixie dust apoth. You can also email them at pixie dust apothecary at gmail.com if you're looking for some custom blended scents. So I will link those two things down below. So this did come with a scent list. Because, <laughs> as I said, these have scents in them. So, amazing job with the foozles. Ooh, all four candles. Glorious. So we're going to start off with my Harry Potter house, which, by my ears. These are my Slytherin ears. For a girls weekend, I made everybody ears that match their Harry Potter house, so. Uh, we're going to start off with mine, which is Slytherin, and this is Ambition. And this one smells like wax because it has no scent. But it is this beautiful green and silver, and me and the ring light are going to go around and around again. But yes, so this has no scent. If it had scents, according to the little list, Ambition, Orange, Grapefruit, and Sage. And I can't describe those scents because I have no idea. So you guys actually know Stacy. Um, if you've watched any of my Disney World vlogs or my zoo vlog, she's my little adventure partner right now. So her house is Ravenclaw and her candle is Wisdom, which I just now remembered it's not on this paper. So I will put it scrolling on the bottom or something. And you can also, I will put all of these in the description for you guys, so. So Wisdom is this blue and silver. Ooh, that catches the light really prettily. Prettily, prettily. I can smell it from here. It smells good, but as I said, what's strong for me may not be strong for you. But yeah, it smells good. We're gonna figure out how much allergy medicine I'm going to need after this video. My friend Joanna is one of the other ones and her house is Gryffindor. So here is Courage and it says Courage is apples, pe flower petals, light ozone musk. So 
that red and gold representing the Gryffindor house. Oh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> yeah, that's actually not bad. I like it. But once again, allergy issues. And last but not least is our Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. That is my friend Cherie. Um, she has a YouTube channel. She does a lot of crafting, diamond art, stuff like that. It is yours truly by Rose. So I will link her down below and wherever it comes up there. Because I'm directionally challenged. I'm not even trying. But she is our Hufflepuff. Stolt devotion. And oh, you got some. You got the yellow and the black. I think she will really like this candle. I hope so. So, and this, yeah, that, that's a memory. That's, that, I, okay. So devotion is daffodils. And I just remembered, like, smelling this, selling daffodils in elementary school. And I can't remember why we sold daffodils, but I remember, like, people buying daffodils. That is weird. I love it how certain scents make you relive a memory and... Because most of the stuff in my house doesn't have any sense. I don't have that moment. So we're going to put all of these back. Except for mine. Because <laughs> mine gets to stay here. I've got to go deliver these to my friends now. So I hope they like them. I can't wait. I will uh, message Allie and Pete. And say what my friends think of their candles. But thank you so much. If you are looking for amazing geeky candles as they are they geek out about candles and they're like disney themed you have harry potter go check them out on etsy i will link it all down below for you and thank you for watching granted i am not good at describing scents <laughs> so i appreciate you watching this i hope you have a wonderful day don't forget to comment maybe what is your harry potter house what is your favorite candle from pixie dust apothecary Heck, you can tell me what your favorite scents are because I can, I don't have very many of them. I like caramel. That's just because there's, I actually get to have caramel. <laughs> yeah, I think we've gone off the rails. So don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you would like to. I always appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget to always stay geeky. Bye.